All right, here we go with some more Golden Pack gameplay. And uh, I'm on turn three. I've got the full board of opossums. So I'm going to sell them all to buff the uh, squid. So this is a strategy you can use where if there's only one faint pet in the shop, then it's guaranteed to take all the buffs from the opossum. There's very little scaling early game. So I quite like doing that to get a, a large unit to start with. I decided to take the Hercules beetle because I want the theme of this run, or at least the starting point, to be taking the the sort of weaker, or the units that are currently perceived to be pretty weak. So I buy the opossum because I might look for another squid, and I do find one, and also the African penguin. And um, yeah, so the squid uh, and the cuttlefish both have similar abilities that apply ink. And ink reduces the, it's kind of like the opposite of weakness. So it reduces the opponent's attack um, and also the their abilities, like if they're a sniper, by three damage, I think. So here I give the, the beetle the cherries because the ink will not trigger unless you have at least one trumpet. I think that's one of the reasons why the, the squid is a bit um, irritating because it's kind of one of those fodder units that you want to put at the front but it can't activate unless there's something in front of it to give give it uh, trumpets. So here it, it works out, we get the uh, ink and you can see the um, the damage reduction resulted in that um, the squid surviving there where it normally wouldn't. <laughs> I, I did briefly hover over Meerkat because it's another one of the, the weaker type units and um, I decided against it in the end, maybe pushing my luck a bit going for that. So here I decided to take um, the stilt, I think, because, um, you know, it's going to generate more uh, trumpets. And that ultimately the beetle is going to get sold anyway to try and get a little bit of attack. So uh, you can see again here the ink works out. And we get the, the double kill. We're going to apply ink again, and now the beetle will survive where otherwise it would have been one shot by the um, uh, by the uh, flying fish. And buying avocado is just, I think, generally good if there's nothing in the shop that you want. Um, I feel like I'm rolling a lot in this pack and not getting not finding what I need. I wonder if that's something to do with the fact that there's so many tier fours. Um, and uh, again here the ink works out. I think we would have won anyway because of the uh, the golden retriever but um, it's still nice to see the combo <laughs> or the ability actually doing something. So now I'm looking to combine the uh, squid and we get the fire ant. Uh, not necessarily the greatest, um, I mean I do have the beetle, but at the same time I really kind of need some health here and maybe I should have been looking for um, sea lion, but so there is the sea lion, but honestly I feel like sea lion is nowhere near as good as, uh, it, as people are claiming. So here I kind of um, accidentally give the uh, the lizard an extra trigger. In fact it should, uh, I, what I wanted to mention about this game because it's it's just um, so infuriating is the number of games in a row here where I go against flying fish or gorilla or both. So that was turn seven. I think that was the first, that was the second flying fish in a row or third. I'm not sure. Maybe it's two. I think I'll put a, a counter up on screen just so you can see how much these, how overplayed these pets are. So here we go. Another team with uh, flying fish and their stats are actually really good and I presume that is due to the baboon um, buffing everything up and the retriever comes in and that's going to be too much for uh, for us. Our, our retriever is just nowhere near as good. And we get the fire ant in the shop. I'm not going to bother with the beetles because um, I think uh, its time is nigh. And here I find the cockatoo to replace the African penguin and since we have the triple faint pet on board that is absolutely ideal with the, the frozen waffles ready to go. And the gorilla team, what a surprise. 
Um, not seen that before. <laughs> um, I feel like uh, Doorhead Ant is incredibly strong as well for a, for a tier 2. And here our, um, our attack just isn't good enough to get, get past the... Uh, that's the gorilla. I think. Uh, I think if the macaque had um, slightly less attack there, we would have survived due to the ink, but um, didn't work out. So we're looking for more uh, cockatoos and more waffles, and just really anything decent to replace the beetle with. And um, we'll find another fire ant, but also a waffle. So I think we'll get the. I think it's much better to buy the waffle because then it means that there's two food shops food shop slots open the next turn to increase the chances of finding another one and here what a, a flying fish team a nice one definitely didn't expect to see that <laughs> but uh, thankfully here the fire ant has uh, good enough stats that we we get past it they only have level one flying fish and um, even though the egg kills the squid we've uh, got enough left and we get bird of paradise but i really don't want to use it um, I had uh, I had a few runs with it, and I was you know <laughs> I'm already sick of it. And here I do find the squid, and I think maybe I could uh, go for the squid achievement. Um, but at the same time, it feels really bad buying um, you know level ups on your early game pets when you could be looking for more waffles, etc. And here another uh, gorilla team. Uh, the ink is kind of useless against the gorilla because the coconut just overwrites it. You can see their team was basically just gorilla, level 3 macaque and nothing else. Now here I do get both of the um, buy pets, so we get the cockatoo and the blue ringed octopus. So I can't really afford to pass that up at this point, especially since the lives are getting low. Um, and really we're just looking for um, waffles octopus um, and potentially catfish because you know that would re reduce the requirement on finding waffles another gorilla team but I, but this time I think uh, we've got um, we've got enough in the tank and that team already had the catfish now here the catfish is in the shop I almost rolled past it as well and and here again um, catfish plus the since the octopus is already on level two it's probably better to sell the cockatoo but because the, it was a faint squad, I really just wanted to keep the... Uh, you can see here I'm looking to try and level up the cockatoo before um, you know, before I buy the catfish, but it's, it's not quite going to work out. We do find another waffle, though. And um, in the test server, I think the catfish didn't cost anything. It used to be you had to put the friend behind it, and it wouldn't cost any gold to activate the buy ability, so I guess they kind of um, felt that one of the ways that they could, um, you know, nerf it, because it was obviously incredibly strong and it's still very strong, was to um, make it cost extra gold. And I think that's something that they, they should probably think about using on other pets. You know, if they're too strong and they don't want to change the ability, just make them cost gold to do it. Um, that team was another gorilla team, another level three gorilla. We had no chance. And I do find another squid here. So we're inching closer to the level two, uh, level three, but... It's so difficult to, to buy the squid instead of the waffle or uh, or chocolate. Now here, that was really good. The uh, the eggplant ruins the um, poison dart frog setup and it gets moved to the back. Uh, we are playing against flying fish. I, I'm not sure what the streak is up to now. Is that seven or eight turns in a row? Um, future me will uh, will put it up on the count on the screen on the counter. And I. I'm not sure if that would have been a tie if that had gone the other way, if the um, snipe had gone, the 50-50 snipe had gone the other way. Um, here we also find the stilt, and I really don't think it's worth spending the three gold on that, so I'd rather get the achievement um, because I think I've already, and maybe I've already done the stilt one, I'm not sure. And I did think about moving the fire ant to the front here, but since it has the eggplant, the eggplant can do so much damage to the second slot, and if you put it at the front, it doesn't do anything. So um, I decide against it. <laughs> we go against uh, uh, another gorilla team. And our attack, thankfully, is enough to insta-kill the, uh, um, the lizard. I have to think for a while for some of these. Um, 
the emu is is so uh, such an original design, um, but it seems really awkward. <laughs> I definitely have had a few games where I had one earlier today where I got the infinite where um, I had lizard and they had lizard and the emu was just pushing it forwards over and over and regenning. Um, so it's funny to see that nine wins. We do find the last squid, but it's uh, it's too late and the eggplant absolutely destroys that cobra, which was super satisfying. And uh, the ink actually wasn't even required in the end. But, you know, on the face of it, that team looked like it was going to destroy us. But uh, in the end, uh, the squid got it done.